Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Record-breaking Trump just did something that no other president in history has done. It is now official. No president in U.S. history has cut the budget as much as Trump. When he took office on January 20, 2017, the U.S. federal debt that was owed externally and internally was around $19 trillion at $19,947,304,555,000 dollars according to Jim Hoft at the Gateway Pundit. Now, let's take a look at what it's at. The president has now decreased it to $100 billion to about $19,845,188,460. No president in history has done this in the amount of time that Trump has. No president has reduced the debt since 1997. That's sad. Some history people might say that Clinton did so when he signed a balanced budget, but it's funny, the amount of U.S. debt during that time period actually increased. You will not see this information shared by CNN, NIT or The Washington Post. They are too busy pushing for a race war. I mean look at the headlines that have been coming out of the media recently. We know for a fact that Eisenhower was the last president to cut the debt by $2 billion each year, but no president has ever cut the debt by a $100 billion. Help get this information out there. The media has been slandering our president. Share this if you still fight for Trump and want to make this country great again. Thanks for reading. This means War Mattis just leaked something huge about Trump and Afghanistan. Let me start by saying don't worry about Mattis. He didn't actually leak anything he wasn't allowed to. He just happened to let a few reporters know that his Afghanistan strategy meetings with Trump are over. and the results are good. Mattis was on board a military jet to Jordan immediately following the meeting when he revealed the bombshell new. Trump has a new strategy on Afghanistan and he will unveil it to the public on Monday afternoon. Mattis told the reporters. I am very comfortable that the strategic process was sufficiently rigorous and did not go in with a preset position. The president has made a decision. As he said, he wants to be the one to announce it to the American people. This right here is one of the reasons everyone loves Secretary Mattis so much. He is a hero, a patriot and loyal to the president. If he is happy, I'm sure it is a winning strategy. Hey, let's help him out by sharing the good news out. My guess is every American will be glad to have an actual plan to win this 16-year war. Trump was right woman at free speech rally waves U.S. flag. Then Antifa does something disgusting. Remember how President Trump got absolutely hammered by the media for saying that there were two violent sides to the conflict in Charlottesville a white nationalist side and an alt left side? Watch video at the end. The media, Democrats, and even some Republicans piled on the president and accused him of defending white nationalism, despite explicitly condemning white supremacist groups and increasing reports of alt-left groups such as Antifa indeed being violent. Fast forward to the free speech rally in Boston on Saturday. This rally, whose organizers publicly distanced themselves from white nationalist movements, was shut down after over 30,000 counter-protesters showed up and made it impossible for the event to continue. To their credit, many of the counter-protesters were peaceful, however, there were also groups throwing urine and bottles at the police, and creating scuffles that resulted in 30 arrests. A particularly disturbing scene played out of a man ripping an American flag out of the hands of a woman and dragging her several feet. The woman appears visibly shaken after the encounter. It's a pretty sad day in America when you can't even hold an American flag at a protest without being assaulted. 
I wonder if that counter-protester realizes the counter-protest could only happen because of American values such as freedom of assembly and freedom of speech. Luckily things at Boston were far more subdued than those at Charlottesville, perhaps because the free speech group was so very small. But as this video proves, alt-left groups such as Antifa do have violent elements. Share it out so everyone sees. HT Fox News, ABC What Newt Gingrich just said about McMaster has everyone shocked. While many of us think it's time for Trump to get rid of McMaster, Newt Gingrich has said this. He is the right person, in the right place, at the right time, Gingrich recently said. We are fortunate to have him serving the country. In fact, he titled his recent op-ed for Fox News, We are fortunate to have H.R. McMaster as National Security Advisor. McMaster has recently ousted several Trump loyalists from the National Security Council, which has led many to be very concerned about where his loyalties really lie. Billionaire Republican donor Sheldon Adelson has reportedly removed his support of McMaster, having learned that he is anti-Israel. Is Trump about to fire another member of his administration? Would that be good? Or bad? Trump recently said General McMaster and I are working very well together. Which way should Trump go? He said the president was very clear and that he called on all Americans to take a firm stand against the bigotry and hatred. McMaster has become a very controversial figure. Do you think it's okay for him to stay? Comment yes or no and share to gather comments so Trump knows what the people want. H. T. Breitbart Death knell Sheldon Adelson just destroyed McMaster with this final blow. National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster has been under heavy criticism recently, after he fired several National Security Council officials, signaling that he is a globalist who favors Obama holdovers. President Trump, however, had nice things to say about him recently, saying General McMaster and I are working very well together. Of course, he had nice things to say about Bannon too, right before he left. Now, however, the death knell might be sounding from McMaster. One of the most influential donors in the Republican Party, Sheldon Adelson, is reportedly quietly offering his support to get rid of McMaster. Quietly, meaning, reportedly, he doesn't want to be publicly associated with getting rid of McMaster. Apparently, however, according to Breitbart, Adelson recently learned that McMaster is anti-Israel, and that's not okay with him. Others at the White House, however, are saying that McMaster is remarkably pro-Israel. Of course, we must wonder, whose side are they really on? I must add, Bannon is no fan of McMaster, and Bannon is back at Breitbart. You decide. Do you think McMaster needs to go? Speak your mind in the comments on FB. Then share to gather everyone's point of view, so Trump knows what the American people want. Disgusting video alt-left riots in Dallas, look what sick things they are doing to cops. Alt-left protesters are rallying in Dallas on Saturday against the racists and the police. The alt-left protests have broken out in violence. The thugs are beginning to attack officers. The thugs attacked the police officer and chanted the following, 1, 2, 3, FCK the police, and oink, oink, bang, bang. We have to keep fighting this indoctrination. Look at these people that are out there calling for the deaths of officers. It's absolutely awful. America is in a tough spot right now. Group violence has taken over the country. It's time to stop. It's time to come together and make this country greater. Anyone that advocates for violence against police is against this country. Share this and expose the alt left for the monsters they are.
Here it is Bannon just revealed one thing Republicans need to do for Trump to win big. Steve Bannon only just left the White House on Friday morning and already he is making tsunamis instead of just waves. For some reason, he has been giving tons of interviews to the leftist media and even dropped the secret of how Trump can still win big. Bannon said that all the Republicans need to do is back the president and we will win. Steve Bannon told the WP. If the Republican Party on Capitol Hill gets behind the president on his plans and not theirs, it will all be sweetness and light, be one big happy family. However, it was not all roses with Bannon in the interview. He went on to say he predicts Republicans will continue to fight against the president and 2018 will be an all-out war. Bannon also told the liberal media that Trump's White House was the most divided in the history of the country. No administration in history has been so divided among itself about the direction about where it should go. So it is still impossible to tell what side Steve Bannon is playing for right now, but that seems to be where he likes it. I just wish he would quit giving all the scoops to liberal newspapers instead of us who actually support the president. That just helps them get more views, fans, and resources. Anyways, do you think that the Republicans in Congress need to rally behind Trump and get health care and taxes finished before their November vacation? If so share this out and let them know the voters are coming.